All right, in this video, I'm going to cover three things in less than five minutes that'll make your iRacing experience a whole lot better. Come on, let's go. All right, so the first thing we have to do is find our app.ini file. By default, it's installed in the Documents folder under your iRacing. And there it is. You can right-click on it. You can open it with Notepad. I prefer to use Notepad++. It's a free program. You can download. It has a whole lot more features. It doesn't change the file structure. Number one is in the graphics section. Right here, force visible when move. By default, that's at zero. We set that to one. We save the file. Come over here. We now, when we make the adjustments, uh, by default, I believe it's Shift K or Control K. I have it set to a button because in VR it's tough to use a keyboard. But now everything is highlighted that you can move to include the flags messages that you wouldn't normally see unless they were actually active uh, voice chat everything that everything that you can move and hit the button again to lock it in place number two we scroll down to pit service auto reset fast repairs these are normally set to one as you can read it automatically requests fast repair service once your vehicle exit pit road you may find yourself in a situation with just a little bit of damage that you want to come through the pits but you don't want to waste your fast repair on by setting that to zero you have more control over that function the same with the auto reset pit box it is also by default set to one that automatically requests full pit service once your vehicle exits pit road you may come in and only want to change two tires or only get gas so by setting this to zero, you get full control over what you can do. They don't automatically set, change all tires and fill a tank every time. And finally, number three is the overlay. Right above pit service, you see enable ticker. By default, that's set to zero. You change that to a one save it and when you load the game you come into a replay if the UI is up you won't see it but when you disable the overlay with a spacebar or enable it with a mouse click now you see at the top of the screen the position ticker uh, each position of the car it'll scroll around it'll have lap lap numbers uh, that works for if you're spotting as well for somebody during during the race or any time you're out of the car uh, on external camera or replay. In this case, it's a replay of an ARCA race that I was in at Iowa. Well, there you have it. Three things in the app I and I file: graphics, pit stop overlay that'll help your iRacing experience. If you found this information helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. That always helps to feed the algorithm, and it's free. And as always, thanks for watching.